Robin Williams wasn't kidding when he said that we ain't never had a friend like him. Uh, he brought so much joy to so many people, and the tragic end of his life has brought up a lot of really painful emotions for a lot of people. So I've had requests to do a video on this, and uh, Nicole Whitney of News for the Soul has asked me to do a special version of Tapping for the Soul, and uh, there will be a link right here to that. And uh, let's do some tapping on that, too to help move through this pain. Taking full responsibility for your own well-being. Even though I'm so upset about Robin Williams. I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I feel this pain about Robin, choose to love and honor myself. Even though I feel this upset about Robin Williams' death, it was too tragic, too sudden, too painful. And even though I'm so upset about Robin Williams, I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself and Robin Williams. All this pain about Robin Williams, all this upset about Robin Williams, all this upset. All these uncomfortable feelings. I feel so upset. Which seems ironic. Since previously he brought me so much joy. He brought me so much laughter. He made me feel so good. And when I heard of his loss, I thought, Shazbat. And I miss him so much. And maybe I feel a lot of different feelings. And I have a right to feel these feelings. It's not wrong to grieve. And I'm also giving myself permission to heal. Moving through the sadness. Moving through any anger I might feel. Some people said it was really selfish of him to do this. And selfish isn't a very good word to describe Robin Williams. Because he gave so much. Clearing these uncomfortable feelings. Maybe I feel scared. If someone that talented and that successful couldn't hang on, maybe I'm afraid what hope do I have? And I choose to clear this fear. Clearing desperation, clearing pain, I'm giving myself permission to feel as good as possible.
because that was Robin Williams' gift. And I think what I'd like most of all is to really honor the gift that was Robin Williams. And it's okay to feel sad. And it's okay to heal. It's okay to feel all these different feelings. And it's okay to heal. Maybe I'll go watch a Robin Williams movie and laugh. And I'll give myself permission to feel grateful. I sure wish you could have been around longer. But he gave us so much in his lifetime. And how much of myself am I giving? I choose to get busy. sharing my gifts and talents with the world. I might even do that as a way of expressing gratitude to Robin Williams. And anyone else I feel has really given of themselves. I choose to clear what doesn't feel like love. So that I can send love to his family. Send love to all his other fans. And feel love inside. And share that love through my gifts and talents. I'm allowing myself to heal. And remembering all the joy that Robin Williams has brought me. He's brought me so much joy. And I choose to feel joy. In body, mind, and spirit. Take a deep breath. I hope that helps. And uh, again, on the radio show, we'll go even deeper and explore more of the feelings that, that we might have to help us heal and uh, joyfully remember and honor the bright light that was and in many ways still is Robin Williams. Thank you.